got some Earl Spence news for uh for y'all, man. And these Canadian geese walking up on me, they dangerous. They will attack. And it's a felony if you hurt them. But yeah, I got the plug out from Texas about Earl Spence. I ain't got no names. So any names I say, I'm assuming. I didn't know AB was training with uh I ain't know my boy about billions was training with Calvin Ford now. Nah. Kevin Cunningham stopped working with him. I don't know what reason for. Um, but shout out to A B. I got Blair Cobbs winning that fight if y'all ask him. Um, but uh but yeah, apparently Errol Spence is looking for a new trainer. It ain't Juan Guzman. He ain't back with blue, you know, working back strength conditioning with blue Blu-ray. Uh, I don't know if he was working with Juan Guzman, you know, in, you know, just in passing, or they just doing some training work. But apparently, the word on the street allegedly is he going to Philly to check out some trainers. So uh, my guess is maybe he re ready to relocate his camp to Philly. Um, I mean, when Caleb Plant was looking for some work. Um, he went to Philly. If I had to guess, maybe Bonzi. You know, I said guess Bonzi, Stephen Bradman is three names that come to two names that come to mind. I know one name that would have would really made a lot of sense would have been um, uh, brother Nas Nazim Richardson. Rest in power to him. Um, but he said at least three guys he working with. I remember Caleb Plant went to go work with a with a few guys out there in Philly, and he chose to go with Bradman. Um, uh, I, I don't know what type of fit Earl Spence need, but I think the best thing, if he going to Philly to train, the best thing for him is to go to Philly and train, you know, is to get out of Dallas, go to Philly. Um, you won't get that Dallas heat, you know, training, but he going to get away from all the bullshit focus. Um, you know, in, in Philly, it's, a, it's an edumacation. You know, I remember it was rumors about Plant was getting put in tough while he was in Philly trying to find a new trainer. You know, they said they were throwing him in the deep end with some of the toughest guys in Philly. Um, I imagine Earl to do the same thing. Um, also, it's been reported that Earl Spence, you know, I heard on the Boxing Voice, Earl Spence is basically auditioning for a new contract because PBC is supposed to be over with. And that's a pro PBC channel. You know, and I'm not saying this about them per se, but a lot of these 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 channels dick suck PBC, and now they gotta find a new company to dick suck possibly. You know, and you know I was telling y'all they was in trouble for years and nobody wanted to listen. Uh, it was basic economics and shit, but um, now they say Plant is his on you know, the boxing boys. They say him leaving is imminent. It's already done. But with Earl going out to Philly to train, uh, that's what he's looking for a trainer. I mean, that's a good place, you know. They, they good tutelage. Andy Andy Cruz went out there to try to you know f you know finish his professional type of you know arc of training and all that. Caleb Plant did the same thing. He went out there and he had to go train. So I mean, it makes a lot of sense for those guys, in my humble opinion. So I think Earl Spence, you know. Uh, you know, you know some of the things is defensive lapses. He square up when he throw when he throws certain certain shots. Um, he squares up. Don't bring his hands back home. Too much weight over his front foot on the inside. It's a it's a lot to unpack there, bro. You know, um, it's a lot of bad habits. It's gonna be hard to unlearn. You know, he throw punches and he throw he put so much weight in his punches. You know, instead of just, you know, uh, your softball. So instead of just, you know, instead of just he, and he putting so much torque that he's squaring up, you know, when you make those type of mistakes, bro, you can't just step it up to get somebody out of there. You can't just say, well, I'm going to just step up the pace. You just going to amplify or you just going to increase the, uh, the mistakes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what you're going to do. You're going to increase the mistakes. So, uh, I don't have no names, uh, but they said he going out to Philly and I would guess Bradman. I would guess 
Bonzi might be in there. Just I don't. I mean, I, I don't know too many other trainers out there, bro. That's that's. I just it's eluding me. I, those are the two I just could think of off top in Philly. But apparently there's some guys out there that, you know, um, I wonder how, you know, we're willing to work with them. But like I said before, you know, uh, boxing don't have a strong union on no stance. I think people should feel like, you know, since he didn't pay Derek James, I don't feel like no trainer should want to work with him until he do right by Derek James. You know, what's so funny is you look at the rap game, and if you disrespect uh, a D, a prominent DJ, one of the top DJs, or one of the the it guys in, in the DJ. All the DJs won't play your music. All the DJs will bend your arm back and make you say uncle, make you apologize, and pay that tax. They stay on code. You do one, you do something to one of the the, bro, the boys in blue. You do something to the firemen. They all stay on code. Boxing don't have that. You always can go somewhere. You pop hot in, in New York, you can go to Georgia and fight. You pop hot in Georgia, you go to Arkansas and fight. You pop hot in Florida, you go to North Dakota and fight. It's always some type of escape or safe haven in the sport of boxing where you can just find a loophole. The trainer should, in my opinion, the trainer should stand firm until he do right by Derrick James. And should nobody train him. But we know that's not the case. A lot of these trainers need... That check that Earl Spence, that high profile that come with training Earl Spence, they can bring Earl Spence back. It's gonna bring more business, you know, more business to the table. We know that it's gonna bring more business to the table. So, but nonetheless, we'll see what happens with it. But right now, the plan is for him to go out there in Philly and find a, find a coach. So, um, so I don't know, you know, if it's, you know, maybe he liked their style. You know, I don't, I don't know what's the thought process of getting out of Dallas. Um, you know, I'm surprised he didn't go to L.A., Freddie Roach. He didn't know how as he used to be. I don't know if he. Figure Virgil or T, Virgil Hunter or or Andre Rozier or uh, um, or the Ricky Funsons. It's a bunch of guys. I mean, you know, uh, Robert Garcia offered to train him. Uh, Oxnard would be a good place to get away from too. And, and, and like I said. One of the reasons I vouch for Robert Garcia so much, I've seen him do it before. I've seen him take a raw Marcos Madonna and give him some essential tools and take him to the next level. Like when you really see somebody restore somebody or really help take somebody to the next level, got to the point where they pulled him out of that that uh that that Keith Thurman fight. They probably felt like he wasn't ready, so they really, you know, I think Errol Spence has more tools or fine tools than Marcos Madonna did. Madonna might have more power. Earl Smith is bigger. I think he might be more athletic, stronger, better jab. So if they can do that with Marcus Madonna, but also the problem with it is, you know, Madonna was able to have some probably a couple fights before he got to a Mayweather fight. He was probably able to have a couple fights to get ready. I mean, he going right into a, a Fondora fight. Um, I think that's a fight he easily can lose. You know what I'm saying? So you, and he, he ain't he ain't in, uh, insurmountable win neither. He ain't no dude that Earl shouldn't be able to be. He could beat him. So that just lets you know his selection and opponent um, is critical. And him saying this may be the last time you see me, that's extra pressure button put on him. So um, it's gonna be very interesting. You know who he pick because you don't get to ease into it because. You know, they don't have that many fight dates in boxing left. So he can't get two or three. He ain't willing to say, I'm going to get on this undercard, that undercard, you know, build myself back up, and then I'm going to go back to the top. No, nah, he, he want to stay at a certain price price point. You know, I said this before. A lot of a lot of dudes end up going to jail or, or making bad decisions and, and losing their life or going to penitentiary, putting themselves in a the position they shouldn't have been in, chasing the money. Sometimes you got to chase doing things the right way. 
But unfortunately for him, there's no resources for doing it the right way with PBC. They don't have the fight dates. He probably need to fight about three, four times this year, get him rhythm with a new coach. He Unfortunately, he got to run into a, a top fight. Versus a guy who just fought in March, who got a lot of momentum, and who a bad style matchup for him. So, you know, it's, it's going to be hard for a trainer. Like, right now, he need to... Right now, he need to be picking one and they need to be getting to work. June, July, August, September. So they roughly got around five months, depending on when October they fighting. Four and a half, four months, five. You know, so they got a half a year to make some shit shape. So we can get them in the sh we can We can work on some things while getting them into shape. But like I said before, I, with him saying I, I could be done, I think he knows the end. A lesson on trying to really can can it's so many holes squaring up, put throwing punches too heavy on the front foot on the inside hunching over leaving itself open not bringing his hands back home. If I if I, if if find Dora, just th just do a one two and get and close the gap and throw uppercut. Find Dora should win in ten rounds. But if Earl Spence able to you know establish his jab, avoid some punches. Attack the body, he can stop Fondor too. It's actually a good competitive fight. It's a really good competitive fight. Neither one of them motherfuckers got no defense. <laughs> so it's a good fight. You know. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit the link tree, check out the Patreon. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, X, Spotify, Anchor Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.